All right, Blues, welcome back to the Daily Blues. It's Monday morning and we have more injury news to report. It's never a good time to report injury news, especially on a Monday morning. And especially now, it's not just Aguero who's going to be sat on the sidelines for a while. David Silva then went and got himself injured the very next day. Um, it's an ankle injury. We don't know how long he's going to be out for anything between four and 100 weeks, if you believe what you read in the papers. But nobody knows just yet. We're hoping it was a precaution. You know what David Silva can be like. If he gets a knock, it looks worse than it is sometimes, so we're hoping that is the case. But Aguero's reported to be out between four and eight weeks, which might mean he won't be back until November the 21st when we play Liverpool at home. That is a hell of a long time, and I think in the meantime we play seven or eight games before then, which isn't great. One being United away, two being Seville in the Champions League. The rest of the games we might be all right without him. I was saying that without Aguero, we might survive just fine. Obviously we've only got Wilfred Boney and Kilichi as recognised strikers, but we have done it before without Aguero. Obviously, we're not the same threat when it comes to finishing and goal scoring, but without David Silva, I think it's a completely different ball game. We're, we're not the same team without Silva in the middle of that front attacking four, but we're going to have to just deal with it because we have no other option at the minute. And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, Kolarov then went and got injured last night. Now, he got himself sent off as well at the same time, which is uh, quite a feat for him, but. He's, he's gone off with a knock. That looked like a precaution. Um, he didn't look overly upset or anything with the injury. It looked just a bit of a tweak. Um, so hopefully he's not going to be out for too long, if at all. Because if he's not, we have no recognised left back for the Bournemouth game. Uh, Kalishi's not ready for the game as far as we know, um, which would mean Zabaleta or Sanya would have to play at left back. But we'll move on. Now, the question we need to ask, and a lot of you have been asking, is why are these players playing for the countries? Well, they have to. Uh, they want to represent the countries, as well as having to play for the countries if they're called up. They want to, and fair enough. David Silva is a brilliant player. Why wouldn't he want to play for Spain? Why would Aguero not want to play for Argentina? And why would Kolarov not want to play for his country as well? Of course they want to, but I don't think that Aguero should have played in that Argentina-Ecuador game. I just don't think he should have done. He came off against Newcastle with a, a tweak in his knee, and then he's gone to Argentina a few days later and got injured. With David Silva, it was bad luck. That was a bad luck. It was a bad tackle from, from their player. That was a bad tackle. And the Kolarov one was, again, just a bit of bad luck. But that Guerrero one, for me, was just mismanaged. Um, I'm not saying what United do with their international players. Look at Wayne Rooney and Michael Carrick this week. Neither of them playing for England this week, but both will be fit for the weekend's game. I'm not saying that's right that they stop them and they pull them out and say they've got injuries, but I'm just saying that we need to be careful, especially with players like Aguero, who can be so prone to injury straight after picking up a knock like he did against Newcastle. We just have to be a bit more careful. And that brings me on to Vincent Company. Reports this morning in the MEN and the national news that Vincent Company will play for Belgium tomorrow. And I think that is absolute nonsense. Belgium are through. They've qualified. Leave him. Why does he need to play tomorrow night? He doesn't. Obviously, he will want to play for his country. And if he feels 100%, fair enough. But how can he be at 100%? He can't be match fit. He was, he was injured until the last couple of days, and then he's trained, and apparently he's fully fit. I'm not buying it, and that will be a disaster. If company goes and gets himself injured again, that will just add to this growing list, and it's not what we need. And it's not what company needs after the start of the season he's made. Anyway, rant over. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this whole injury crisis as it is. Um, there's no two ways about it. Let us know in the comments below. We've got Bournemouth at weekend. Make sure you check out all of the content that's coming for that. And we'll see you tomorrow for more of the Daily Brew.